before the game, you met Larry Bird for the first time. Can you take us through that conversation? And what did you know about him besides being a Celtic legend before you met him? And what, what was just that feeling like pregame? Yeah. Um, so he was in the locker room before the game. Uh, him, um, Adam Silver, and Dr. J, they were talking to us. Uh, and, you know, once they got done, I thought I was going to be able to shake his hand. I turned around and he was gone. Um, and I was, I remember I was saying, I was like, man, I never met Larry Bird. I've never been in the same room as him. Uh, as crazy as that sounds, it's just never, it's never worked out. Uh, so Taylor, our PR girl, uh, saw him um, before I was sitting on the sideline and she grabbed me. She was like, he's over there. And I got a chance to go meet him and tell him how, you know, much of an honor it was to meet him. And, uh, you know, he told me he was looking forward to meeting me. So that was crazy to hear him say that. Uh, he's a lot taller than I thought he was. But obviously, what he means to the game, what he means to the city of Boston and the Celtics. And, um, you know, he's the ultimate Celtic. So it was, a, it was an honor to meet him. Jason, uh, you and Jalen have been able to do this together a couple times now. What, what does this weekend come to mean for you two in terms of you know how you're able to bond while you're here? You were able to do the dunk contest with them. How do you feel like that went? And just you know how are you guys kind of able to spend this time together now that you're doing it pretty much every year? Yeah, I always say All Star Weekend is special, and it's even more special when you get to share it with a teammate or two. And so, um, you know, I've been fortunate enough to share it with him three times now. Uh, and it's great. Uh, it's great to have a teammate, familiar face around, especially we get to share the same locker room. Um, you know, it's a special weekend for us, our families, obviously, just, you know, our team, the Celtics. So uh, it, it's always great. Dave, on your right, standing. Jason, as the reigning All-Star Game MVP, I guess you're more qualified than others to answer this question. There was a case to be made for Tyrese, case to be made for Dame, case to be made for... Jalen, uh, and it's just kind of how do you how do you view uh, the MVP of the East this year? Uh, much deserved, like you said. It, we scored 200 points. We had three guys score over 36 points, uh, so it could have went either way. Uh, but you know, Dame uh, put on the show, and uh, I, w I was happy for him. So uh, you know, it was cool to I could take a back seat this year and kind of chill and get to enjoy the show a little bit. Last row in the back. Hey, Jason. Miley Biandolo here. Your dad's had the opportunity this year to coach the Illawarra Hawks in Australia. Has he given you any insight to the level that Australian basketball has down there? And do you have any vision in visiting anytime soon? Yeah. Uh, I actually I got to talk to him right before the game started. Uh, you know, the time difference is a little crazy. He actually is up. He's a finalist for coach of the year. Um, started off as an assistant coach and, um, you know, the head coach got let go and halfway through the season, they were in like the 10th or 11th seed and now uh, he kind of turned it around. They're in the fourth seed going into the playoffs. So um, extremely obviously happy for him, you know, happy for what he's, he's been able to do over there and kind of turn that um, organization around. But he loves it. He loves it over there. He loves um, being in Australia. Uh, he says the games are extremely competitive. The atmosphere is crazy. Uh, so, you know, hopefully they can continue and go all the way. But it's been great to, you know, see him, uh, you know, turn that thing around and have a lot of success over there. Standing on your right, Jared. Jared Weiss from The Athletic. Uh, two things. One, did Larry have any advice for you just handling being the face of the Celtics. And then two, it's nice that you got to share that moment with Jalen, but is it more fun to go up against him in the All-Star game or play with him in the All-Star game? Uh, I mean, meeting Larry, it was just super quick. Uh, you know, I just told him it was an honor to meet him, and he had told me he was looking forward to finally getting to meet me, and we took a picture. Uh, so we didn't get to talk in detail. Uh, and, no, I mean, it's, it's much better being on the same team with JB. It's what I'm used to. Uh, I mean, we've competed against each other in practice for seven years now, so um, I'm kind of tired of doing that. So it's, it's, it's good to be on the same team for sure. Front right. Jason Samaj Musco from Morehouse College, Maroon Tiger. Um, as I talked to a lot of players over the weekend, one thing that's constantly come up is how important it is to have family and friends here at this event to support you, cheer you on. Um, what has that meant to you over the years, and how important is it to you 
to be able to have them here, especially with the traveling schedule that you all have? It's extremely important. Being an all-star um, is, is obviously a reflection of the work that you've put in your whole life, the work that you've obviously put in, you know, the first half of the season. But it should be celebrated with your family, right? Nobody uh, is successful by themselves. Everybody has a support group, people to help raise them, support them through ups and downs. Um, so this time, this weekend is for obviously yourself, but um, to bring your friends, families, um, partners or whatever it may be to this event, to this weekend, because uh, there's a lot of activities and things like that. And it's just memories, memories to build um, with the people who essentially help you get to this moment. Last two questions on the second row here and on the other side. Hey, Jason, over here, Adam Gosmelski with Sports Media Watch. Uh, we've talked to a lot of veteran all-star appearance members here um, about changes in the format, going back to East-West, shorter introductions. I was just curious as somebody who's maybe experienced a little bit less of the all-star history, right? Um, what do you think about the changes this year? Did you think they let it, lended itself to a better experience for you as a player? Going back to East-West, shorter introductions, did it turn into a better game for you? I loved it. Uh, the shorter introductions, you know, not being on the stage and all that, uh, I'm definitely a fan of that. Uh, East versus West, I thought it was cool. This was my first All-Star game experience in East versus West. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what I grew up watching. Uh, so I enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I liked it better this year, honestly. You know, it was a regular game. Halftime was a little shorter, and the introductions was a lot shorter. Um, so it, it felt like a little bit more normal of a game than past years. Last question on the second row on the right. Uh, hey, Jason, Kendall Show Players TV. So you keep doing so many good things back home in your community of St. Louis. Uh, we just heard another you know, initiative where you're giving $1 million to homeowners back there. Um, what does it mean to you really just to be a role model? Be a role model not just for the kids back in St. Louis, but really just kids across the country. You see Tatum jerseys across the country right now. So what does that mean to you really to be a role model for players in St. Louis, kids in St. Louis, and kids <coughs> across the country? I think it's my responsibility. I understand uh, the platform that I have and um, the position that I'm in, right? I, I, I'm in a position to inspire a lot of kids and a lot of people. Um, and I think, you know, as we all were inspired by somebody, and I feel like as you grow up, um, you should always keep that in mind, that somebody inspired you to get where you are today. And, uh, you know, the larger your platform, I feel like the larger your responsibility is. And growing up from St. Louis, I always had it in my mind that I wanted to impact my community. I wanted to change and make St. Louis a better place than, um, than I grew up. I didn't always know how to articulate that, maybe when I was younger. But from a very young age, I knew that I was going to be where I'm at today and that I was going to inspire kids and help change lives. Um, back where I'm from. Thank you, Jason.